Today we're going from this, look at that nasty yucky mold and mildew and, well it's not mold, but mildew from water damage, to this. Nice and modern and clean looking. Check that out. Got some beautiful drop lights, or uh, can lights, and uh, painted the walls. So what are we doing? We're gonna be cleaning up the basement, painting it. Um, first of all, I wanna start with these Joyce, they're kind of gross, natural color. We're gonna paint them flat black. What I'm gonna use is a Valspar latex paint. Um, the cheapest stuff that I could find, let's see, is I'll be using a Valspar flat black. It's the Valspar 2000, sold at Lowe's. Why am I using this? Well, because I'm painting a ceiling in the basement. I wanted to find the cheapest stuff I could find, and that was it. Um, get yourself one of these, because we're going to be using a HVLP sprayer, um, which is, I think, high volume, low pressure is what that stands for. Um, this will e uh, be easy to fill your sprayer, and let me show you that. Sprayer that I went with, and I'll link both this cap for the paint bucket and the sprayer in the description please if you want to get one you're interested this is a highly rated one on amazon it is one of the cheapest it's on sale right now um, i would probably grab it it's a yadich this is a 700 watt sprayer it has a little container when you paint with these you have to thin the paint you use water um, not just any water i've seen people talk about using bottled water because the minerals and everything might jam it i, I don't know i think that's the explanation that i got uh, how thin do you make it? Well, I'll show you in a minute. The other thing you're gonna want, let's talk about uh, safety gear. So you are going to want to use, especially when you're in an area like this, some really nice goggles. These goggles actually seal your face kind of like a swim mask, so you're not getting any junk in there. Uh, you're gonna wanna get a hood sock, probably just keep the paint off your face and hair, like so. Ooh, looks like a, a lung in the movie strangers or something and the most important thing the thing you really don't want to skip out on is a respirator what is a respirator a respirator is more than just a mask it is a breathing mask okay it's got a diaphragm in it so you're breathing through filters i highly highly recommend this anytime you're working with paint dust anything just go out and get one of these, and you can just replace these when you want. So they're not not—they're not much that much more expensive than a, a face mask. You're just throwing those away anyway. So, all right, so let's get on to the instruction. Oh, I guess the other thing too, check it out. So when you go to paint your ceilings, you're gonna wanna get yourself some plastic. They sell this, I got this at Ace, and just, Wrap everything up except for your paint areas, or you're not gonna have a good time. So this just makes it easy. Make sure to do your floors. I still need to put one up, but uh, I haven't got that far yet. I gotta put up this wall too. Uh, lighting, I'm do the other thing. I'm just using a shop light for now. Gives me enough illumination to see what I'm doing. So uh, make sure you consider that as well. As far as ventilation goes, I mean, it's winter right now, so I don't wanna crack a window, but um, after I'm done painting, uh, after some time's elapsed, I could vent it a little bit. I'm gonna let the paint dry a little bit first um, before I do any window cracking or anything. Um, why am I painting this? Because, I mean, it's gross. You know, you got a lot of water stain damage and stuff from the previous owners. It's just nasty. And the black, the flat black, um, will look really good. Uh, it'll look really modern, and uh, we'll show you that here in a little bit. All right, I should go over some basics with a gun. Um, this is assembled. When it's put together, you this is your trigger here, and you got a plus and minus. All that does is just move this little thing out to stop you. You got one click for the fan to kick on, and then and you pull it all the way in, you start to paint. Um, you could you could just leave it wide open and just control your your paint. 
if you pull it all the way down, you're going to be throwing a lot of paint. Um, this is your fan. So you can choose the way it's set right now as a vertical fan, or you can unscrew this a little bit, move this thing. So I do it one-handed. Or you can go to a horizontal fan, or you can change it to uh, go to just a, a circle, basically. Um, that is on your preferences uh, of what you want to do. I would recommend a vertical since we're spraying the ceiling and we're going to be doing a sweeping motion. So I'm going to change that back to a vertical. All right. And when you clean this, this all comes apart. It's really easy. Um, and you can just wipe it off with a little bit of lacquer or whatever you want to use to clean. I'm doing this all one-handed, so I'm not going to get too into instructions. The other thing, too, the straw. The straw can be in any direction, but since you're painting upward at an angle, put it down to where it can reach the paint instead of having it forward. If you're painting down, then you're going to want it forward, but if you're painting up, you want it in this direction. Pretty self-explanatory there. All right, um, with the Yadich as well, it comes with five additional tips. Um, the one that's in there is kind of a medium tip, so I'll probably just use that one. But these all range in different widths, as you can see, for different things. So you could spray like automotive paint or like like thin clear coats and things like that. Um, I tried to find instructions on what tip to use with this application. I couldn't find one. So we're just going to mess with the viscosity or the thickness of the paint uh, to, to get the best results. So this is the method I'm using. Um, you can buy just empty paint cans, believe it or not. And um, I'm just taking out half a gallon and adding it. Uh, one YouTuber I saw had just a regular old 16.9 ounce bottle of water and basically mixed about a half a bottle of water to a gallon to get the viscosity to paint wood with a high volume, low pressure uh, gun, spray gun. All right, so this I can kind of do one-handed. I'm gonna stir in. I put in just uh, down at the top of the label, so about 25% almost of the water in the bottle to ha about half a gallon. And let's see, I'm gonna mix it up real good. See, that's, that's too thick. See how it's goopy? You want a constant stream. A little bit goopy it's not constant so i'm gonna add a little bit more water all right i just put the lid back on it and shook it real good it's a little bit more uniform now there we go that's that's pretty spot on right there guys that's what you're looking for just a nice constant run you don't want any breaks in the pattern. You don't want it too thin where it's like water. You want a nice slow run like that. So that looks pretty good. I think we're pretty on par there. Now you could, if you want to get scientific and follow instructions instead, the, the Yadich does come with this. This is a timer cup, right? So you fill it to the top, uh, you time it with a stopwatch, until the cup empties and that'll tell you where you're at with the thickness um you could do that if you want it's up to you uh i i'm not doing that i'd rather just keep this thing clean and i have to clean it but uh let's uh put some of this in our gun and see how she works and here's the bucket it's got some measurements on there not really using i'm gonna try to illustrate how easy this thing is to pour with this nozzle see if i can do this one-handed Really wish I brought my tripod down, but whatever. One-handed pour. Here we go, guys. Like a bartender. Having this thing on. Oh, look at that. All right. Insert best Bane imitation. We are good to go. Let's try this bad boy out. All right, so you pull this down a little bit for the fan. Then pull 
it down all the way for paint. If it doesn't come out very good, uh, you just need to thin it a little bit. And uh, that's about it. I'm tired of doing this one-handed, so I'm going to spray this area and it will show you the results. All right, so here's a little before and after. Before? After. It's still wet, so uh, some places are really uh, shiny. It's just because it's wet paint. How far does one of those little buckets go in the gun? About that far. Um, so these are what? Uh, 12 inch joists. Um, it covered one, two, two and a half. Actually, I didn't get all on that side. So one joist, two joists. And uh, let's see, how long is that? Two. Four, it's about six foot plus the ceiling in between so it kind of gives you an idea you can be filling this thing up a lot I'm still trying to get the, the mixture down right but uh, it's coming out good so far I can't wait to see this dried because it's wet it's not really a good accurate representation of what it's gonna be um, this is really easy to do I recommend this for anybody I got you know my copper line see before and after on that that other line was already black, but it's kind of nice. It makes it look pretty. Uh, I can't wait. I'm going to finish this up, and I'll show you the result. All right. As you can see, it's just about had enough time to fully dry. It's pretty close. There's a couple wet spots left. But, man, does that look so much better. Um, I'm going to take down this and start painting this corner, the walls. And, uh, yeah, I think she's going to pop once it's all said and done. A little before, a little after. All right, there you go. Nice uh, install of the light. It's kind of hard to see it. Just in the contrast, you can kind of see it. But uh, get this in focus here. Looks a lot better. I like the look of it. It's sharp.